Hello everyone, I'm Zephyr, and this is the first episode in a new series that I'm starting called Computer Pro Tips. In this series I'll be showing you several ways that you can get the most out of your computer, either aesthetically or functionally. We'll start off with this episode, and I'll be showing you how to change the startup programs on your computer. So let's start off by going over to the start button and typing in msconfig and click on it. If you are using Windows XP, use the Windows key and R at the same time to open up this box and type msconfig and click OK. This also works in Windows 7 or any other Windows operating system. Now once you're in this window, go to the Startup tab. This is where we can edit all the programs that start up with our computer. Now, you can't expand this window, but you can move around these columns so that you can see more or less. I like to see where exactly this program comes from, so I get more of an idea of what it really is. For example, I'm not sure if Realtek HD Audio Manager is useful at all, and I'll be showing you another way to find out what is useful or not. But for things that you know are not needed, you can just uncheck them. For example, I don't really want Adobe to start up with my computer, so I'll uncheck those. I'm not sure what this is, so I go over here, and it says Switchboard, but it's from Adobe, so I assume it's not very necessary. So at this point, I'm fairly happy with the configuration. I've already disabled several of the programs that really aren't necessary to start. Once you're done, click Apply. If you are unsure about a certain program and you don't know if it's actually necessary or not, go ahead and go to this website, which I'll link to in the description, or this website, and search for the name of the file that you're looking for. So for example, Display Fusion was one of my results. I want to see if it's actually necessary. There we go, we have a result. It says here that it's user choice. It's not required, but it might be useful. In that case, if I've never used something called Display Fusion, then I don't need it. But if I have used Display Fusion, I might want to keep it. It's your choice. Keep in mind that both of these websites are not all inclusive. There may be, and there probably will be, some programs that don't show up on their databases. In that case, just use Google to find a thread or someone who's asked a similar question about whether it's actually necessary for startup. Alright guys, I hope this helped you out. Please give this video a like if it did, and subscribe for more computer pro tips so that you can get the most out of your computer.